Yop, 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 yop. This video is sponsored by Yop. And Surfshark, fuck off. No, it's not. It's not fucking sponsored by fucking anything, right? Other than my hairy beard and my sexy ass top. Guys, I just want to have sex. Have sex. Have sex. Poop my hands, yes. I don't know what's going on. I'm on drugs. No, I'm not, I'm not on drugs. That's a joke. That's a joke. That's a joke. Okay? Anyway. Yop. Mmm! Welcome to my, no, to my uh, movie review on Halloween 2. I have it on DVD and I have it on fucking Blu ray. I obviously watched the Blu ray because I'll fucking get to this fucking DVD later, right? Anyway, got this DVD in 2012, got this Blu ray in 2014. Seen this movie millions of times like the first one. So, anyway, Halloween 2. Directed by Rick Rosenthal, I believe written by John Carpenter, produced by John Carpenter. Of course, he done the music, um, but he didn't direct it. When I, but years ago, when I was a wee little child, a wee little scared away, I fucking thought he did direct it. But obviously, I wasn't fucking listening, because I was a little bollocks. Anyway, Halloween 2, made in the year of 1981. So... I'm probably going to hold up the DVD because I find that this has the more iconic poster. I like this poster as well. This is the 20th anniversary edition from 2011, but I prefer this look poster. So, Halloween 2. So, basically, <clears throat> the plot of Halloween 2 is it's Halloween night, 1978, and it literally starts off and takes place literal seconds after the first movie we actually get a little bit of a recap so donald pleasant's um sam loomis shoots michael myers six times seven times he says six and he falls out the window and goes to check and see if michael myers is there but of course he's gone so it's the end of the first film it's the beginning of the second one so then he walks and sees that he's left and he's like tell him i called the police tell him he's still on the loose I've been trick-or-treated to death tonight. You don't know what death is. Fuck yeah. And essentially, the intro starts. But essentially, Michael Myers is still roaming free in Hattonfield on the exact same night. He goes into an old couple's house, steals a knife while the husband's passed out watching Night of the Living Dead. Great film, by the way. Love that film. And... This young young woman overhears it, and she's talking to her friend on the phone and all that about having parties, and then she's talking about, um, her friend starts mentioning um, the fact that three teenagers got murdered, the house down the street, and I'm like, oh yeah, just freak your friend out, like, oh, just a couple of doors down, down from you, and she can hear sirens, but Michael Myers sneaks in the house and randomly kills her. Which is fucking terrifying. Meanwhile, Loomis and Sheriff Bracken are going around looking to find Michael Myers and see where he is. And Laurie Strode is put into a hospital because of the injury she received when she fell off the balcony in the first one. Um, but she gets freaked out and says, please don't let him put me to sleep. Don't let him put me to sleep, please. And then this kid called Jimmy, who's like a paramedic has a little bit of a crush on Laurie and Bud is like the 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 other paramedic who's a who's a bit of a dick. Um she goes to the hospital and we get to know the people in the hospital. Um she gets needles put in her, she's put in the hospital gown and in the bed and they check up on her and Jimmy kinda of comes in and starts flirting with her and all that. Um and she's a bit traumatized from the events of the first one. Meanwhile, um you know, the doctors are just doing doctory shit. And Loomis is basically going around still looking for Michael Myers. And wants to shoot on sight. And pretty much everyone in, in Hattonfield is freaked out. Trick or treating still. And all that. And pretty much what ends up happening is Ben Tramer. The guy who was mentioned in the first one is actually in this one. In a Michael Myers costume and just as he's about to shoot a police car comes hits him and blows the fucking van up then another cop comes up and tells 
Sheriff Bracken that Annie has been killed, which is the only appearance that this actress actually has in the movie. So, yeah. Um, and essentially, you know, the ghost checks the body out from the house, sees her corpse, and then Sheriff Bracken shouts at Loomis saying, you let him out. So then Loomis ends up teaming up with the blonde cop who I swear to God looks exactly like Jeff Daniels. I mean, he's the fucking spit image of Jeff Daniels. Like, holy fuck. Um, so they go, they check the corpse and they find out that it's Ben Tramer, about 70 and 80 and um, Michael Myers is 21 so it doesn't add up. But they're all just fucking around in the hospital and they hear about all this Michael Myers stuff and everyone's kind of freaked out and Bud's being a dick. Um, and all this stuff, and, uh, your man, um, Jimmy's like, why don't you shut up, you know, and essentially, there's a chick that's late to work that ends up, um, you know, you know, going to, to work to look at the babies and, you know, all that shit, but she's kind of flirting with Boyd, because her and Boyd have a thing going on. Anyway, um, and essentially we also get a scene where, um, where, sorry, we get a scene where, um, you know, what the fuck was I going to say? Yeah, where there's this kid who has a fucking razor blade in his mouth from Bob and Apples. He goes in, goes out, and then... Michael Myers is walking, there's this kid with a radio, bumps into him, finds out where Laurie Strode is being kept on the radio. Also find out that she's 17 in this film. And Michael Myers basically goes to the hospital and starts killing off people one by one. He ends up smacking um, the security guard on the head with a hammer. He ends up injecting needles into a doctor off screen. Um killing the black nurse or person of colour. I don't know what the right terminology is. I apologise if I offended anyone. Um, by dripping blood everywhere. Jimmy ends up falling over, slipping on the blood and getting concussed. Um, he stabs Bud in the back while they go into like this thing and they, him and the girl are making out about to have sex, have sex in a hot tub. Grabs the girl, shoves her in the water, the, the boiling hot fucking water. Um stabs one of the nurses and lifts her up until her fucking shoes drop goes after laurie when laurie gets out of the room um stabs the other girl in the with a needle you know when she finds the doctor and basically is just being a fucking dick and meanwhile um laurie starts having weird dreams about her parents not being her parents and weird dreams of michael as a child and all that other crazy fucking crazy fucking shit crazy shit um and essentially like you know we get a scene where she's like oh you know where we find out she finds out that michael myers is the one that went after her and then we also find out other different things that um she's not <laughs> um you know she finds out different things and we find out that um, while Loomis and all are just doing different things, investigating, going to the house, uh, people around Hattonfield are throwing things at the house and wanting to break it. Um, they go to this thing because the school got broken into, and it says Sam Hain, which is actually a Celtic word, Irish word. I'm Irish, and it says Lord of the Dead. I'm pretty sure it doesn't mean that. I didn't do Irish in school, but don't think it means that. But it means something to do with Halloween. Uh, the nurse from the start of the first one comes back to talk to Sam Loomis. He's been given orders. Eventually, while they're driving um, back with his sergeant, um, she basically tells a backstory that Michael Myers is actually Laurie Strode's brother. And Laurie Str he wants to kill Laurie. Um years later because he killed one sister so he ends up born starting a warning shot and going back to the hospital laurie's walking through the hospital 
uh, Michael ends up coming after her and she falls away and essentially they go in uh, they shoot Michael again but he gets back up slashes the guy the guy's throat goes after Laurie and Loomis they go into a place Loomis and Laurie get two guns they shoot him they shoot him in the eyes to the point where he can't see starts off the gas Loomis blows the hospital up and dies even though he's in Halloween 4, 5 and 6 but and Laurie jumps back Michael Myers is on fire he falls and he's a pile of ash Um, and <coughs> excuse me fucking hell Um, they come out of the hospital they go he com comes out she goes in in a wheelchair from one hospital to another <laughs> fuck me man um, the thing drives off and it ends with Mr. Sandman give me a dream which is how the movie starts off as well so that's really Halloween 2 in a nutshell or what do I think of it this movie is a fucking classic as well. I love this fucking film. And I was shocked to hear that there's a lot of people that don't like this. And I'm like... What? I'm getting a fucking taxi. What? <laughs> this movie's a brilliant sequel. And this is the closest that you're going to get to John Carpenter's original movie. Like, this is a fucking true wordy follow-up now i'm gonna get into the print early on this dvd this dvd is awful because one um the quality of this fucking dvd is horrible like it is probably the worst quality i've ever seen on a dvd um like you can see that the film grain it's obviously I, I wouldn't be surprised if the vhs version of this is better just awful this blu-ray is great quality so yeah anyway let's get into Halloween 2 so I love this film a lot because I like the continuation side of it and I like the hospital setting it's creepy it's graphic it's suspenseful there's a scene where uh, this woman walks in she's like you're late again I'm oh, sorry sorry I'm late it's like it's like you gotta stop that it's like those kids depend on you. I, yes, I know. I'm sorry. You got to stop doing that. You're a good nurse. We do, we'd hate to lose you over something like that. It's like, yeah, okay. Goes in and checks the babies. But Michael Myers is like, while you're there, Michael Myers is just walking around in the background. And I'm like, oh, shit. Then there's a great scene where he's opening the door, walking through the hallway, sees the woman walking, stops, opens the door. You hear the babies go, uh, uh, and he walks in and sees the babies. And you're like, oh, he better not fucking harm them babies. So it's suspenseful. But then he walks out. And they're like, oh, fuck. Um, I love the dialogue and the the just the scenes in the hospital, like the part where they're like sitting there going, oh my god, I could really use a a, a good pizza right now. Like it's all this, oh, a terrible thing happened when three teenagers were murdered and across the road, and then you just have Bud and these guys, and a great bit of humor where he's like. I could go for a pizza right now. Pepperoni, sausage, pineapple. It's like, how could you be thinking of food right now? It's like, that's just the way it is. And all that stuff. And then uh, he's like, okay, okay, bud, shut up. And he's like, all right, all right, relax. And all that. Um, I love that. Um, um, I do like how this film does actually have an F-bombs in it. Unlike the first one, there is F-bombs in this one. But I love another scene where it cuts back and she's, uh, she's walking down the hall. She's like, oh, yeah, that's that's great. It's, uh, and then she's there like, I'm creeped out. It's like, oh, what's wrong with you? Why is everyone so shut up tonight? And all that. And he, and basically she's like, do you ever stop? Everything that comes out of your word is either piss, shit, or damn. Like, this is crazy shit. You know, it's damn crazy. It's like either what comes out of your mouth is either piss, shit, or damn. It's like, I'm sorry. I guess I just fuck up all the time. And it's like, I love that little bit of humor that he has. Like, it's just excellent. And he's like, yeah. He walks off, he's like, fuck, I'm not taking this anymore. He's like, what's everyone, what's everybody getting so worked up about? 
You know what I mean? It's like, oh, this is Michael Myers crap. He's like, why don't you shut up? It's like, what's up? What up with you? He's like, just stop, man. But that could have been you. You know, that could have been you who got attacked. And that's what I like about Jimmy. He's a likable, memorable character. And all that stuff. And he's, a, and he's like, let me tell you something, Jimmy. Never get involved with a patient. It'll fuck you up. Nurses, it's a different story. What are you doing? Don't, where are you going? Don't be an angry. Don't be not angry at all, bud. Oh, I just love that. Listen, old bud. And it's like, he's a lovable dick. I, I like that lovable dick quality. And this, in a lot of ways, you could even argue, is more of a Halloween movie than the first movie. Because, you know, this instantly takes place on the same night, Halloween night. There's great moments where you see trick-or-treaters going around. And, and there's that moment where Michael Myers is walking. And, you know, there's the kid with the radio, the kid with the radio, and he bumps in, and he gets a do 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 And the theme song is slightly different, it's done differently, but I love this version of the Halloween theme song. It's iconic, but it's, and even the John Carpenter's theme song is just used so effectively in this film but another scene i love is when michael myers is walking around and you see the shots of like the houses and the suburban neighbors like yeah yeah whatever and he's just walking and this makes it creepy the fact that he goes into random people's houses and kills them and i don't get when people say oh that's why the force is so great it's a random attack i'm like yeah it wasn't made the first one great but it's also in this one as well you know what i mean so he walks in, and your woman's there like, oh, hey, you want mayonnaise on your sandwich? Oh, that, and it's popping up. It's like, three teenagers are murdered. He's like, okay, don't answer me. And, and then she's there asleep, and it's like, now we return to Night of the Living Dead. Which I like, because in the first one, it's like, now we turn to the horrifying conclusion of the thing, you know. So she's like that. And you have this part, it's like, they're coming to get you, Barbara. It's like, stop it. You're ignorant. You're acting like the child. They're coming for you, Barbara. And then she, Michael Myers picks up the knife, walks away. She hears about all the, the horrible news and then picks up the blood and just goes, ah! But I like the idea that he didn't kill her. It was different. And then we instantly cut to another scene of the girl going, Mrs. Thingy, are you all right? Are you all right? Opens the door, it's like, what was that? It's like, oh, no. It's just my neighbor. Her husband was probably being. She's probably being beaten. He's her wife's always picking on her. He probably got tired and decided to beat her. It's like, where's your parents? They are out of town and all that. It's like, are you ready to come tonight? Yeah. Did you hear about what happened down the street? It's like, what was it? All three teenagers got murdered. Whereabouts? Damn, that's just down the street. It's like, yeah. I can hear the police sirens and it's so creepy. And it's like, yeah, true. And then the door just opens. He's like, what is that? And then Gordon and Tori heard something. She's like, hello, is someone there? Is someone there? And then she's just walking slowly. And then Michael just jumps up, stabs her. It goes like that. And it's like, oh, fuck. Instant fucking, um, Instant jump scare, great gore effects. It's definitely gorier than the first one. And you have the police car coming, wheel, wheel, wheel. and then Loomis is like, I shot him, uh, Sheriff. I shot him six times. Like, come on, get in. Where, where were you? He was like, I shot him six times. I shot him in the heart. He's not human. Gets in, drives off. And that's such an iconic line. I shot him. I shot him six times. I shot him in the heart. He's not human. You know, but I fucking love that. I love that. And... As I said, the hospital is a great location for the movie. It's such a great location. It's creepy. You know, the first scene with the car is driving. She's like, oh, God. It's like, are you okay? He's like, mm -hmm. And there's a razor blade in his mouth. It's like, oh, you know. And walks in. It's like, here is it. we got to see a doctor now. It's like, oh, we can't at the moment. It's like, he has a razor blade in his mouth. we got to see it. It's like, okay, come on, let's do it. And then later on, the kid comes out. He's like, what are you doing? Oh, what? Oh, I'm sorry, honey. I can't see you. We'll play some games tonight. We'll do something right nice, all right? But I love that. I love the fucking the feel of the film, the way it's shot. You know, it still has that great, wide, crystal clear look from the original movie. You know, but 
But they're like, let's go, and doctor. And then when they bring in Laurie, like she's all freaking out. It's like, come on, come on. It's like, okay, what's gonna happen? And she has the iconic outfit. And she's like, don't let him put me to sleep. Don't let him put me to sleep. Okay, what's normal? It's like, here we have the. And you know, come on, let's do it. It's like, don't let him put me to sleep, please. No, no, Laurie, just calm down. It's like, okay, don't let me put me to sleep. And then he, she puts the needle in, and it's like, ugh, ugh. And it, it is a cringe worthy scene to watch, but it's brilliantly done. Um, You know, and he goes to sleep, it's like, yeah, that's it. You know, and I love the. um, I love a lot of the moments in this film where. That take place in the hospital. I'll talk about most of the hospital scenes now. Um, you know, there's a lot of great suspenseful moments. Uh, the security guard's like, yeah. When, when the girl, the woman walks in, like, come on in. She's like, thank you, and all that. And she's walking all the way to the place and stuff. And there's the great part where she's learning, like, hey. It's like, is it, what's going on? It's like, hey, what's going on? It's like, why are you late again? He's like, oh, yeah, I was working. It's like, oh, yeah, where are you? Yeah, so was old bud. Meet you later. It's like, yeah, that's how you do it, chick. And she's like, hi, Jimmy. Oh, hi, yeah. And I'm watching TV. Um, I like that. I like the, the nurse. Uh, she's like, come on, Jimmy, back to work and all that. I love them. Um, the scene where he goes in, Jimmy goes in and starts talking to um, Laurie saying, you know, he thought he escaped it. It's like I, it was just Laurie's like it was just so horrible, and it's like, yeah, I was lucky you escaped that and all that. And she's like, yeah. And then she's uh, he's like, you know, it's crazy. Michael Myers, like, who? Well, he was the guy that was after you. And then you hear the music, do, do, do. He's like, Michael Myers, the kid from the Myers house. Like, yeah, the kid that killed his little, the, the little kid that killed his sister. He's like, yeah. Why me? I don't know. It's like, come on, Jimmy, time's up. It's like, oh, I'll be back later. It's like, okay. No. He's like, he's like, no, you won't. And then you get a scene where she's like, can we try our parents? It's like, have you heard from parents? No. Do you know if they're back from the Halloween party? We tried and calling them. It's like, no. Okay, I'll just keep trying them. Got to get some rest. Walks off. And it's like, oh, fuck. I love the creepiness of that. Like, the, oh, shit, the lines are down. Um, you know, another scene I also love is when Michael Myers is kind of walking through the hospital slowly and all that. And he walks into Laurie's room and he opens up the covers thinking she's there and just, just stabbing like... Duh, 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 opens it up and it's like, fuck. And it walks off. Like, you know. And also the blonde nurse like, oh, hi, Laurie. Like, let's do this. Like, come on, Jimmy, what's happening? Duh, 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 duh. And all that. Now, the one thing I do wonder is how when we never really see much other patients in the hospital um but i like that i actually think that works effectively um you know it, it does work quite effectively in this film and i think it, it adds to the creepiness and the, the shots of the hospital and all that um but like one of my other favorite scenes is the part is like yeah i gotta go down doctor you know and then the, the security guard is kind of checking down or whatever and he goes and your one's like, hey, hey, are you there? Are you there? You know, and she's talking, hi. And she's on the security, the, uh, the fucking walkie-talkie. And he's like, yeah, okay. And he's looking around, looking around and all that. He's going outside and all this sort of shit. He's like, yeah. And then the cat jumps out. And he's like, oh, shit. Damn. And you get effective jump scares like that. And he's like, okay, yeah. Looking around or whatever. Opens it. And then... Out of nowhere, it goes on for a while, and Michael Myers' hammer just comes out, and smashes him on the head. And you're like, oh fuck, the motherfucker is dead. Um, you know, so I thought that was great. Um, I also love um, moments like where Jimmy's like, can I get you anything? He's like, yeah. It's like, uh, you okay? He's like, yeah. Um, some food? Yeah. Maybe a Coke? It's like, okay. You know, it's like the sweet little scenes between him and Laurie. I really like that. Um, you know. But I like a lot of the, as I said, the creepy vibe. The, the kills are creative. You know. Um, there's uh, the part where the, the Norse goes into the room and is like, 
Lori, uh, hello, and then Bull just pops up. Ah, it's like, no, fuck you. It's like, jerk. It's like, you're, it's like, come on. You love, he's like, bud, you are one big jerk. You know that? And he's like, I know, but you love me. Yeah, I do. Come on, we gotta go down. Come on, we go downstairs. Come on. He's like, no, no, I have to watch the kids. Come on, give me 15 minutes. Come on. Okay, I'll give you 15 minutes. Come on. Goes down. They go down into the, like, basement place. Oh, they start making out. She takes her tit. Oh, gets her titties out. And they're like, oh. And then they start making out or whatever. It's like, is it just me? Is it really hot? Because Michael Myers pops up behind and then, like, turns the heat thing on. The water starts boiling and shit. And, um... I was like, oh, it's really hot in here. It's really hot in here. It's like, okay. So he gets out. He sees his ass. Like, oh, let me go turn it down or whatever. So she's there washing herself. And if you look closely behind, Michael Myers just starts stabbing him. And he's like, oh, uh, uh, starts stabbing him or whatever. And he walks back in. And he's like, hi, bud. Do you want to go for breakfast later? He's like, I'm sorry. I got to get back to work. That's all. Do you want to get breakfast later? Starts sucking on his hand, on his fingers. Like, okay, bud, don't be like that. She's like, ah, and then Michael Myers just goes, shh. And the way the music goes, and like, ah, starts putting her head in boiling water, boiling her fucking face off. And I'm like, oh shit, throws her on the ground, and you're like, oh, what a kill. Um, and then I love, like, like, uh, watch me call it other scenes. Like, you're all like, I can't find anyone. It's like, yeah, I, I can't find anyone either. It's like, we got let's look around and all that. Um, like this is crazy, you know. We gotta go. It's like, where's Lori? I don't know. And like, I gotta go. And then there's the moment where, um, he goes in to Lori, and he's like, Lori, I know you don't know me very well, but Lori. And then her, like she's like, uh, out of it. Like she's not. He's like, oh shit, I can't remember what the word for, is for. It's like, hello, something's up with her and all that, and. All that kind of stuff. And then she walks in, Lori. Lori is like, and she's there, and Lori's gone. It's like, I can't find Lori and all that. And you're like, oh shit. So I was running around or whatever. And I just, I just, as I said, I love the vibe and everything here, you know. Um, there's that great moment where she's like, Doctor Thing, Doctor, I gotta find Doctor, Doctor. Walks down, opens it. She's like, Doctor, we got a problem. And then, Doctor. It's like, we can't find Laurie or whatever. Or, and then the doctor just turns around and there's fucking needles and knives all, all over him. It goes right up to his eye and there's a needle in his eye. He's like, oh, oh. And then Michael Myers grabs her, sticks a needle in her head. And they're like, oh, shit. Then there's the moment where Jimmy walks in. He's like, what's going on? And sees the blood dripping on the ground. And the woman's there. He's like, what? Walks over, slips, knocks himself out. Blood's on his face. And they're like, poor Jimmy. Um... Which, uh, yeah, that was great. I also love the scene where the woman's there looking for Laurie. Um, you know, when Michael stabs her, Laurie's just kind of walking down the corridor like this. Like, yeah, okay. Uh, she's walking down like that. And eventually, it kind of cuts back and forth. And as she's um, walking down, she, the woman goes, Laurie. And then she turns around like that. And then Michael just goes, Kah! it's like, oh, Lori, thank God. And then Kah! Michael stabs her, like, ah! lifts her up. She was dropped to the ground, and you get the dun, dun, dun. And then once again, like the first one, I love how Michael Myers takes his fucking time. He takes his time. He doesn't need to be in a rush. He's like, oh, running, ah! running through the hospital, like, ah! 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 you know, and it's just this, oh, fuck moment. Like, he's going to get you. You know, he's gonna get you, he's gonna get you. So she's walking through like that, gets on the elevator, she's like that, and then Michael is kinda like goes down, she walks outside, um or whatever, she crawls over, gets into the car, opens it up, whatever. Jimmy comes in, he's like, We're gonna get he's like, Jimmy, she's like, Jimmy And then he's like, We're gonna get she, as she's walking over, like uh, crawling over she's like, Jimmy, he's like, We're gonna get out of here. Let me just start, and then he goes, pops himself out, pushes her away, he goes, oh. she gets out, or whatever, and starts crawling, and it's like, oh, fuck. Um, but Michael Myers walking around the hospital, it's creepy, 
Um, I love that because Michael Myers, like, he follows her down and she's like, oh, God, you know, she's like, no, and opens up this place and then she's like, and then she opens up this part of the hospital and climbs out the window and you're like, oh, shit. Um, so I thought that was really creepy, but it was brilliantly done. Um, and Jamie Lee Curtis, once again, does a great job. She's even more of a scre uh, scream queen in this one. Um, I love the part where it cuts to, to the house and everyone's around there. There's news report like, we have witnesses here like, where three teenagers were murdered and all that. Three teenagers were murdered. like, no, I want to get I want to get this report, okay? And all that. And then you get this great shot of everyone gathered around the house where um, she was at at the end of the first one. They pull out and you have to do... Do, 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 do. And they're pulling out. It's like, come on, let's go. Come on, Laurie, let's put her out. They put her in the, the ambulance. It's like, don't let him put me to like, sleep. Don't let him put me to sleep. Okay, come on, Laurie, let's go. And they're driving. He's like, wait, you know this chick? He's like, yeah, that's Laurie Strode. She was in my class. Oh, is that the, 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 or is her father the guy that sells the house? It's like, oh, yeah, sure. You know, driving off. I was like, don't let him put me to sleep and all that. And I love that she knows Michael Myers is coming back. You know, it's just great. But it's it's creepy. It's still creepy as fuck. I love so many of the scenes with Loomis. Loomis, once again, Donald Pleasance does an amazing job. Nobody else can play Loomis. Not even Malcolm McDowell. But I love it. Driving around, it's like, come on, where are you? It's like, over here, there, there. It's like, you couldn't have shot him six times. I shot him six times. No man could take that much. He's not a man. He's something else, then why would you let him out? And all that. And then he drives, and he's like, over here, stop it. And they, they get out, dude, 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 and there's a blonde kid there. It's like, stop it. And puts the gun to him, and there's a guy in the mask. Like, no, why do you not stop it? And then out of nowhere, fucking car just comes, hits, hits Ben Tramer, smashes into a, a van. <laughs> Big ass explosion. Brilliant practical effect. The body's on fire. He's like, what's wrong? He came out of nowhere. He's like, what's happening? He's like, is it him? God damn it, Loomis, is it him? He's like, no, and he goes like that. And it's just like a really fucked up scene. And then you get to a moment that is heartbreaking. The guy comes over here. You know, bracket, something happened. Three kids murdered. One of them was Eddie. And he's like, what? And the acting there was amazing. He runs over and just brilliantly done brilliantly fucking done i'm actually going to cut this off because uh the memory is going to go on this or not the memory but i can only record up to 32 minutes so or 23 minutes so yeah